What's the best piece of advice you've ever heard? I've had so much, but I think one of the most important ones was early in my life, uh, one of my mentors, a man named Jim Rohn said, Tony, all you have to focus on in your life is find a way to add more value than anybody else does, and you'll never have to worry about anything. Be the person that does more for others, and life will just be anything you want out of it, really is what it is. And so, and he also said the way to do that is every day work harder on yourself than anything else. Because if you become more intelligent, more valuable, more skilled, you can add more value to other people. Monday, get better. Tuesday, get better. Wednesday, get better, right? And you do that over a period of time, you know, not like one month or two months. I mean, it's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 years. And then, you, you know, you can get to where you want to go. This year, I'm going to get better at that. Mm. Next year, this. And then so forth and so on. And then patiently, I was able to catch him. When I first walked into the Navy SEAL recruiter's office, he looked at me and said, there's only been 35 African-Americans in 70 years make it through. You know what I said to myself? What if I can be the 36th? It's the what if. I can pull off a miracle. What if I can become someone that no one thinks I can be? I would rather die than be that loser guy. Think about that. Do you want to walk out that door a damn loser or do you want to walk out the door a winner? That, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll fight to the death. It sounds crazy, but you got to give it that much. If you want results, otherwise you'll be like everybody else. It's not about the running the swimming, the push-ups, the sit-ups. It's about what those things do for your mentality. You don't get better on the daggone couch. You get better by coming out here and getting after it every daggone day. Stay hard. When you eat a f***ing great juicy steak, man, you want to have that again. When you go out and you train hard to play baseball and you connect and you hit the winning home run, you want to feel that way again. When you taste these finer things of life, all the pain, all the work, all the sacrifice to get them is well worth it. I'm convinced that about half of what separates the successful entrepreneurs from the non-successful ones is pure perseverance. It is so hard. You pour so much of your life into this thing. There are such rough moments in time that most people give up. <laughs>